Oh, good day guys. Yeah, we're back at the cabin. Don't ignore this. I mean, ignore this. Don't worry about that. That's none of your concern right now. It's just a tube covered with things. Looks like matchstick house. We're on, we're doing something else here. Kevin's doing something. You go check out his channel, Modern Self Reliance. If you're not checking his channel, you're missing all the action. He's almost at 100,000 subscribers. So go help him get his silver play button. Got a couple bags of corn here. If you're following the saga of the deer, it's been going on for three years on my channel. I haven't managed to eat something besides roadkill. Quick look around here, see if there's any signs. I don't see any signs of deer. I see lots of signs of animals though. Explain to me why I got so much corn out here and they still want to go after the freaking bags and dig holes in them and expose them to rot. They want to go after the choice cuts in the bag. They don't want to get the stuff that's out here. Double bagged and everything and they're still getting into it. Dirty rascals. But we actually have a lot of cottontails here. And uh, cottontails are different than snowshoe hair. They're both active at night, but the legalities around cotton hair, cottontail, is you can't snare them. Otherwise, they just put some snares in here. So the plan is actually to make a little box trap. Because they're not active during the day, you can't go find them. They actually live underground, a lot of them. And so you can kick brush up and sometimes you kick them out. I've had zero success with that strategy. So I've been digging through the pile here from the cube build. We got lots of pine boards here. I got a selection up at the workshop. We're gonna make our homemade box trap and hopefully be able to catch ourselves a freaking a cottontail rabbit is what we're after. So I got a couple of boards, four boards, picked out the finest pine I could find from the pile. We're gonna rip these up. Kevin's getting the rocket stove rocking. If you haven't seen this uh, build of the sh workshop, you'll have to check it out. All right, so let's, uh, let's get working on this project and let's uh, put some stuff together and see what happens. Well, when you know what you're doing, you make short work of things. Here it is, halfway done. Cutting and the assembling and the putting togethers and the things and the... Now I sound like Bill Cosby. I don't think you want to sound like Bill Cosby anymore. He ran into a lot of problems with his jiffy pops and jello pops. So, yes. Okay, so it's done. The box is made. We've got real fancy here. We've got a live edge top. And then we've got a back that's kind of open. You might be curious as to why it's open. It's open because we actually want the animal to be able to look up here and see if the delicious bits in there. We'll add that later. We also want to keep the snow out and the rain out and all that good stuff. So we're going to mesh that off in a second here. That's the back end. And the reason we want the back end too is because uh, well, we want to know what's in there. If there's a skunk that's in there, it's a problem. But then we got to figure out the latch mechanism, which is the fun part, of course. We got it all set up here as designed the problem of course is it's a it's a gravity business here so what you need to do is you need the door to actually be able to close on its own because there's there's no moving well there's no moving parts here except for the door there's nothing that fires the trap itself it's basically there's going to be a keeper here that's going to pull it it's going to keep it down but when that keeper gets messed with the door has to close so what we did was we added two times the door hoping that would be enough for a cantilever to be able to lift this this, this trap is going to make more sense we have put together. Just go with me for with go with me with this come with me with this for just go with it for now. I got it. That's it. Go with me. <laughs> just go with it for now. There you go. Okay, Kevin's got some metal kicking around. He's going to we got to get this door to be heavier so that it it closes. It wants to close on its own and then we can figure out the mechanism up here which is going to involve a piece of wire right here and uh, that's going to hold it down we're going to we're going to drill a hole and we're going to bend this so it keeps it properly but you'll it'll make more sense once we get it together just got to get this door heavier she wants to go now <laughs> well we get rid of we get rid of a little bit of weight here that's going to do a whole lot more well, just let it go that's yeah. oh yeah like this that's 
that's that's like a that's a QP. Because it wants to close, but we want to keep it open. We have to get, we have to get a way to keep it open. <laughs> you want to put more weight out there? Uh, uh, that's I don't know. It's probably enough. We want to keep it open so that when an animal triggers it, it closes. Does that make sense? So the whole premise behind this is to keep it it's open until an animal hits it. It's supposed to squish the animal, right? <laughs> no. We made we made a trebuchet. <laughs> That's French for whacking you in the face with a stick. <laughs> Look at that. Seize the castle! Whack the bunnies. Here. <laughs> Alright, enough fooling around. This is serious business. We're catching bunnies. Catching bunnies. Catching bunnies. Okay, so we gotta drill a hole in that a pretty big pocket hole. Because that's what's gonna hold the mechanism down. Again, easier to show than explain. It's just gotta be it's gotta bet more. Like a lot. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> Alright, so this is the whole trick of the puzzle is to get this wire to hook inside this hole and then when it is bumped from the inside it releases from the, the sidewall or the top wall I should say. It's all friction fit. So this is the finagly part. You don't want it to be too sensitive. You don't want to be not sensitive enough. I think the risk is probably going to have it too sensitive when you first set it and because the wind can be a factor too. You don't want the wind to be blowing your trap closed and then have a complete miss. So anyway, it's going to trip the wire on the inside here. Not too good. All right. <laughs> He's going to stick his hand in there soon. There we go. You see the screws? You should probably take the screws out. That would be funny if we set that and then we didn't put the mesh on the back and the rabbit just climbed up the back. Oh, and we had one more thing too. I think this is probably heavy enough that the bunny couldn't actually push out because we made some modifications with the extra metal we put on the bottom here. But a coyote could figure out how to get the bunny out. You see what I'm talking about? So we got to figure out how to keep this door closed here with a simple mechanism. And we're just going to use some wire for that too. And we're going to throw it out and see if it works. I got some trail cameras so we can catch all the freaking action. Magic, magic. Dude, we can catch our rabbit now. What's our budget on this guy? Zero. Reclaim materials. Yeah. And uh, five year, <laughs> five year prison sentence. These, uh, these little weights here are, uh, what are they? Survey, survey markers? Yeah. Penalty for removal. <laughs> five years in prison. Man. Medallions, they're survey medallions. Kevin's going to jail for like 35 years for stealing surveyor markers. Well, I. I have a whole box of them. I don't know. Like, I don't know where I got them from. But I didn't take them from survey markers. I don't know where I got them. Oh well, yeah, I went around like yeah, we went around stealing survey markers. I've got fifty of them. I spent one summer just stealing survey markers. All right. So the best part of it is well, for the rabbit anyway, not for uh, for me. You know, this is an old apple. It's not very good anymore. So it's going to work for a bait. We're going to do is going to drive a couple of nails in at the very very back. And then that way I can just reach in there. They're going to be facing upwards. I reach in there, slam the apple down into the nail. And then when any critter goes in there and it decides it wants the apple, it can't just easily grab it. It has to kind of fool around in there and try to eat it. And then inadvertently it's going to, it's going to knock that wire. And then the whole business is going to come slamming down. And we've got that little piece of wire there, which is really, really simple. So let's get this set up. <laughs> Ow. Ow. I think I pulled a muscle. <laughs> That's a long box. <laughs> little bunny foo foo, ready? <laughs> little bunny foo foo. Yes! We got dinner. Are we gonna eat the bunny? You wanna eat it? Is it good? I, that's pretty sensitive. Like, I barely touched that. One more camera. More cameras, the better. Multiple angles, we'll cover the approach. Camera there, camera on a tripod over here. Put this one, we'll get the very moment. Very moment it closed, maybe. Multiple angles. I think I got one more camera so we can do one more angle. Let's see if we check back in. I got a squirrel tonight. If not, we're gonna check it tomorrow morning and we can review all the cameras here. Triple angle, that's when the science happens.
Well guys, it is a winter wonderland out here. Then I come out and check the trap. Kevin's been out here daily since we've gotten a mountain of snow and this trap needs some maintenance. So I'm gonna clear all the snow away. I got up my game, it's not working. I don't think it's just the snow, although the snow is a big factor here. I think there's something up with the trap. It could be that it's very piney. It's got a very strong smell to it. The apple scent is not enticing enough to get something to commit. I've got the cameras. I'm gonna check those now, give you guys a quick update on that. Let you know if there's anything going on. And I got a bunch of kitchen scraps I'm gonna throw down. And that should get more activity going on here. It's not snowed in too bad, but I'm gonna clear the snow. We're gonna make the most of it. I got Holden here, I got Courtney here, probably gonna do a little bit of sliding on the hill. Might as well enjoy the day. These trail cameras are absolutely indispensable, especially if you wanna learn about trapping animals and how they're reacting to the trap. You see a couple close-up shots of this rabbit coming in, having an inspection. And then we've got some squirrels coming inside the trap and leaving. None of these squirrels actually tripped off the trap. They never had to go all the way in and commit to it. So what we've learned so far is that they're not afraid of the trap being in their environment. They think it's perfectly normal. They're willing to explore it in and out. Listen to how chatty these squirrels actually are. You've got a blue jay making an appearance. Here's fast motion of all of the clips I had of the squirrels up in tight. And what they're doing is going after the easy pickings all of that corn in and around the trap. Now we have some shots of the rabbits around the box, a wide shot, and you can see how busy they are all around the trap, but never wanting to go inside of it. Tons of rabbit activity, but none of them inside the trap. There we go, all reset. Now we can have some fun. Been looking forward to sliding down the hill. I wanna check the pond too. I don't think there's enough ice on it, but uh, we probably want to get as much of the snow off if we, as we can because the snow is an insulator to the ice here. And if we don't clear it, it won't freeze as fast. It'll take a lot longer and then we won't be able to enjoy a hockey rink. It's now a hockey rink. Look at this beautiful snow. How awesome is this? Winter is finally set in. See, Holden's taking a ride down that hill. He's already got a head start on things. We should be able to make a nice track down there, pack it all down and make use of this awesome property in the woods. Hi. Kids are having fun, we're sledding. Grown-ups are working hard. <laughs> what else is new? But we're supposed to get some colder temperatures in the next few weeks, so we just need one good frozen, frozen night. It's gonna be some janky ice though, that's for sure. At least we get out a reboot. Everything reset, I got all the cameras reset and everything. So hopefully we get some rabbits in. I did have manage to check the cameras real quick and there's a bunch of rabbit activity on and around there. They're just not going in. But uh, with all that extra food, hopefully that makes a difference. Cute potato, not you. <laughs> yeah, you did. Well, uh, we got a new home for the trap here. We're in the swamp, the rate right swamp here now. And they set the cameras over here too. What was happening from review, you guys know, you saw it, all the activity around the trap, but none of the activity inside or around the trap because, well, rabbits don't want to go inside of a box when they have plenty of food around the outside of the box. So fresh apple and all the table scraps are down there, some out, some in. So hopefully that's enough to entice things. Um, also the trap mechanism was frozen because I put all the food in there and then it froze to the food. So I made sure that the uh, trap mechanism is free of all the frozen bits now they're frozen solid now so they can't freeze to the trap cameras around here the batteries were dead on the other one so i'll do an ana analysis on that and see if we actually had some activity if we hadn't had the cameras we wouldn't have known what was the problem hopefully this is out far enough away from the corn pile Oh, good day guys. I got little, I got mini me today. Haven't seen Holden for a while, he's getting big. And I noticed right away the flag is down. That's because we caught something. You see in there? It's a rabbit, I think. You think it's a rabbit? I uh, can't tell. I don't know, I can't tell. It's gray? Looks like. I think it is. It, no, it is a rabbit. It's a rabbit? For sure. No. We need to put a window like over here so that there's enough light that when we look through here, we can tell what it is. Yeah. Because I can't tell what it is. Can you guys tell? Maybe if I zoom in enough. 
Can you guys tell what that is? I can't even see in there. That's a, oh yeah. Is that a red or a red squirrel? It's uh, a big red squirrel if it's a red squirrel. Yeah. Just. Oh shoot! Ah, ah. He just like jumped. <laughs> he <like> jumped up. <laughs> Freak. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna let it go. We gotta move. Well, we're gonna let it go. I cannot see down in there. It's a, it's a rabbit. Or no, a it's squirrel. a squirrel. I, no, <laughs> Are you scared of it? Yeah, maybe. It's just gonna run that way. Yeah, probably. Okay, so maybe go, maybe go over here so we can see it run out. Okay. 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 Is that good? Yeah. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. <laughs> don't freak out. Okay. Okay, don't freak out. Okay, so we're gonna open the door. We're gonna open that. Oh God. You ready? Yeah. Stay there. Don't move. You're good. Mm -hmm. I, I promise. If it goes after you, I'll go. I'll go protect you. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> the suspense. The suspense is killing you. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. And don't. Are you gonna dump? Maybe dump it. Where's it going to go? Are you going to dump it? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? So I'm going to take it out of the swamp here. I'm going to bring it up closer to... Uh, there's a wood pile where Kevin stores his wood before he collects it, or before he cuts it all. And uh, he can check it easier. Because I'm, I'm frankly, for a rabbit, I'm done with this. Coming back all the way here in the swamp. So I'm going to load this out and we'll go set it at the, at the, like it's the roadside where the, where the wood comes in there. He um, gets it all ready to cut and he can check it easier there. That's all I'm saying. So they're coming all the way back here. There's no point. It's getting dark here now and I actually just came around the corner and there was a, a rabbit in that hole. So this is... Well, he wasn't in the hole. He was out of the hole when I came around and he went back in. This is the perfect place to set it up. If you don't catch one, we're for sure gonna get some action. This rabbit video has taken me so freaking long to film. I actually went up and checked it and uh, there's a rabbit all around it on the camera, but I don't know if it went in, I didn't check in detail. But the pond's frozen, that's how long it took. So we're gonna do a little bit of skating as a interlude. Usually the interlude is when the Zamboni runs, but on the interlude on this video, it's when the people skate. So enjoy us for a little skate on the pond while we wait for the bunny action. Welcome to the rink, everybody. We got holding on skates over here. We try to make everybody dizzy. <laughs> anybody anybody does selfie mode on uh, <laughs> on camera on skates <laughs> you need to make the rink bigger so we don't have to spin around so much <laughs> we'll get a game of shinny going maybe That's it for rabbit interlude. Now back to the rabbit action. Oh, that was a good bit of hockey, blowing off some steam, and it came back up here. <laughs> Guess what? The trap is tripped, tripped off. The flag's up. This means the flag's up. And uh, I actually kind of already pulled it out and checked. There's actually a little bunny fufu in there. Hello, little bunny fufu. You guys see that? You might think that I just catch and kill everything, but you know, when it's a survival challenge, it matters. It's a cute little bunny and uh, it's been a worthy adversary. So I kind of feel like I should just, <laughs> I should just let it go. Uh, I don't, I'm not hungry right now and my life doesn't depend on it. So I, you know, I might just let this guy go. What do you guys think? Should I eat it? Should I let it go? I can always catch another one. So let me know. Let me down in the comments if you want me to catch one so that Kevin can eat it and see if he likes it. I put it that way. 
you guys enjoyed this one. Let's let this bunny go. We'll let him go back in the wood pile. He can live out the rest of his days, make more bunnies for us. How about that for next time? All right, guys, you guys let me know. If you want me to catch another one, do a catch and cook cocktail, let me know in the comment section. Thumbs up for the worthy adversary, the cottontail rabbit. Bye-bye, Mr. Bunny. <laughs>